75% of the time I've been on this planet. I've been associated with the Boston Marathon, so it's important to me, but I do have things in perspective, and I know my health is more important than a road race. I committed to this, and there's 30,000 people depending on me and the entire team to produce a world-class quality event, and I can't be worried about me and take my eye off the ball. Just because you're fit doesn't mean you're healthy. I always thought it did. And the realization that we aren't Superman, <laughs> that we're not invincible, that reality can hit you pretty hard. You know, there's this little jogathon race in Boston in April, and I've shuffled through it a few times. And I said, what do you think? He didn't say no, and he didn't say yes. But he did say, I would be extremely disappointed if you couldn't. You know, when I started this, I was in my 30s, and now I'm in my 60s, so it's certainly not getting any easier. But this time is, will definitely be different because I'm gonna be more sensitive to how I feel than how fast I go. Whether it's get off your feet, eat properly, rest properly, I'm doing just the opposite on all of it. Not the best way to run 26.2 miles, but it's what I got. The whole day was very, very stressful with the thunderstorms in the morning and not knowing what we were gonna do in terms of with the athletes busting them out to the start, with the races be delayed, but it all turned out great. Starline, he said, hey, listen, guys, we're going to take it a mile at a time when I run, run, when I walk, walk, and just let's see how it goes. And he actually got stronger as the race went on. We were thinking maybe for the second half he'd become less strong, but it was the opposite. He actually carried all of us to the end. It wasn't going for time that I was able to surprise myself and do better than I even hoped. If you feel something, do something. You have to act. You can't ignore. You can't think you're invincible um, because it's really up to you to save yourself.